Hello and welcome to another Nimble video tutorial. So in the last video I mentioned that I had um, what's going to be my last QA video um, but I think I misspoke as I was as I you know looked through the source code for Nimble. I noticed there were two singletons that I had not uh, fully tested or created videos, QA videos showing its functionality. Um, they had to do with uh, broadcast messages and notify messages. The Nimble uh, framework has a PubSub uh, engine within it so that you can send messages um, to and from applications as well as broadcast messages across applications and dialogues and have them react. Um, so I do owe you guys at least one more video as far as that, you know, testing all the functionality and showing you what it can do. But over the past, I guess, week, um, I've been working part-time to create um, another dashboard sample. It's not really, this is really pushing Nimble to the limit, not really uh, testing functionality, just simply seeing how complex of an interface I can build um, using the framework. So here's the source code. It's pretty straightforward. What, five, seven to ten dialogues here, all connected with the Nimble.js framework to uh, create what I'm about to show you. I'll just let the code speak for itself. What you see is a simple uh, dashboard that I've started up. And in the theme of uh, authorable websites, I've uh, powered this particular dashboard so that you can control the layout with drag drop points. So simply by adding uh, layout zones, you now can drag drop components from the toolbar. I've been spending a lot of time with high charts as you can see. So this sample I'm going to be using high charts to build custom dashboards. As you can see I'm bringing in a lot of data here and uh, the Nimble.js is really performing well along with high charts. Have uh, made use of pop-up menus for this layout as well as being able to remove elements from the dashboard. but all of the normal high charts functionality, including printing a chart, downloading it in different formats, all works thanks to a really solid charting library. As I said, all the QA work is done with Nimble. From here on out, I'm just gonna use it to build stuff. Um, I'm gonna play around with dashboards, data, charts, grids, um, and of course, mobile applications. I think um, Nimble is pretty, is running pretty solid now, so there's nothing left to do but use it to build stuff. Um, in this toolkit, I, I didn't spend the time, but I was uh, have the ability to drag in charts or grids, maps, uh, rich text editor. All of these all of these libraries are imported in here, but I just decided to stop and produce this quick video so you can see what five days or maybe six days part-time worth of work. One developer, um, zero memory leaks, and deployed and created, tested with absolutely zero JavaScript errors. Um, it doesn't get any better than this. Uh, the code speaks for itself. Thank you for watching.